The world is full of worriness, full of anxiety, full of things that are making you feel down. I was basically of like a cradle Catholic. I go to Sunday, that's it. And after that, continue Monday to Friday, what I need to do. When I came to my rock bottom, I was trying to pick myself up. I still did not rely on God. I was still focused about what the world can give. I didn't expect that Jesus still loves me despite of how I was and how focused I was about myself. Till this day, I can remember that moment that He embraced me with His unconditional love. I felt so warm that I cried like a baby. One of the dark moments in my life was I kind of asked God, what is my purpose here in this world and why am I here for? I prayed and I had this reflection that my purpose here in this world is to serve God and to bring souls to Jesus. Even before I met Him, I already wrote down my negotiables and non-negotiables. And this, these are the things that I prayed to God. First one is a person who is in deep faith. That is the non-negotiable. Then the second one is the person who is tall. <laughs> yeah. And then the third one is the person who has sharp, sharp nose. All these, these three things, that's why when I saw him in Bible rally, eh, I was like, he's very tall and then he has sharp nose. Then when he shared during our sharing session, he has a, a faith, a deep faith. She was sitting beside me and I had this spark or st stirring in my heart and saying there's something special about this girl. But I did not bother about it. But after some weeks, I actually went to the altar in my home and her name appeared in my mind. Eventually, he texted me. I asked her, are you interested to go with the octave with me to church? She, without hesitation, said, yes, I will go. So I picked her up in the grab at her place and uh, we both proceeded to Octave. And in the grab, I, ha I asked her this, well, do you like me? And she said, she just nodded her head in a very shy and said, yeah. Taken aback because I didn't expect the answer to be like straight. Yes, yeah. she's also a very prayerful woman. And I prayed to with Jesus and wanting a woman who is in faith. Why? Because I can fall, but she can bring me back. Even before we went to relationship, I said, do you put God first and me second? And then she, she um, said yes. And that's what I like because faith and God comes first in my life. The book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. So this is a very meaningful Bible verse for me because even if I'm feeling down, worried about the future, worried about Emrish, I only hold to this, this Bible verse that God will always bless. The sacrament of holy matrimony means to me is that two individuals coming together as one to Jesus to serve Him and to bring souls to, to Him in conversion and at the same time to start a family, a family that is focused in serving God and uh, worshipping Him. So it's about what I want to have to be with Emrish. Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing to me a wonderful partner into my life, a partner who is very understanding, a partner who understands my needs, a partner who is willing to journey with me in faith and also to bless her in all that she does. Dearest Lord, as we uptake in this vocation, I ask for your utmost blessings upon Jodi to continue to 
be with her in all that she do and to continue to strengthen her, Lord, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, bless Amrish, make him a powerful instrument to bring souls to you. Use him powerfully as your servant. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the gift of Amrish. We know that you have plans for us, plans for our welfare, not for harm, and a plan to give us a future full of hope. May the Holy Spirit be with him, St. Michael the Archangel, to always there before him, his guardian angel, to light his way when he's feeling down. Dearest Mother, we ask of your intercession upon Jodi and myself as we go through this vocation that your son Jesus has called us to be. Mother Teresa, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Jude, pray for us. Saint Basilica, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. This we pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs>